Up next on Secret to Global Chefs Live, we're in the kitchen theater with Rob Henry. He's sharing his secrets to a wonderful piece of salmon with a special sauce and a tart, a lemon tart. You don't want to miss it. You hear the crowd, it starts right now. From Kitchen Theater at Sullivan University, this is Secrets of Global Chefs Live with your host, Kentucky's own Kevin Harden, and America's Chief Entertaining Officer, Tim Laird. Here now, ready to reveal the secrets, Kevin Harden. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Kitchen Theater. I'm Kevin Harned. You look at this, a wonderful piece of salmon. You pair it up with mango sauce and a little wasabi cream. Doesn't that sound good? It's even better when you know the secrets to making it in your own home, and you're going to learn those today along with a lemon tart. As always, what do you say we begin our show with our host, the CEO, <laughs> Tim Lair. Hello, Kevin. Tim, look at this. I... Did you catch this? I happened to be out on the Ohio earlier today, and I was like, Psh, you know, this will doing be lovely. A fishing. I, you, good job. Yeah. Great job. Look so at this, I Kevin. Thought, why, and, why not cook it up for dinner? And we'll have Chef come in and show us what to do with this. <laughs> I, it, but it's amazing. I didn't know we had salmon in the Ohio oh, River. Oh, you'd be surprised what's in the Ohio River. Uh, I'm not sure everything's <laughs> in the Ohio River. <laughs> so anyway, this looks great. But I'll tell you what, we're lucky to have uh, Chef Rob Henry with yeah, us. Yeah, tell us a little bit about right. him, and we'll let you introduce him. Thanks, you Kevin. All right. It's a great day to be in Kitchen Theater. Oh. I'll tell you what, we're excited to have Chef Rob Henry, who actually started here as a grip, worked himself up, ran the bakery at Sullivan for four years, and now uh, he's an executive chef all over the region. So, Rob Henry, come on out. How are you, Chef? Good. Wow. What's it feel like to be back at uh, Sullivan it's University? Nice to be back home. <laughs> That's great. But I'll tell you what, you've gone on to bigger and better. I mean, you're, I shouldn't say bigger and better things, but bigger things. I mean, oh my gosh, you're, do, you're doing all kinds of things. Tell us about what you're uh, chefing now. Right now, I'm at the Episcopal Church home off uh, Westport Road. Uh, we're doing a lot of great things there. It's just a wonderful community to be a part of. Uh, I am a regional executive chef. We are a learning center, so they send dietitians, other chefs, uh, directors there to learn how to do the dietary department as well. So uh, we have a lot going on at the Episcopal Church Home. So. And so you're traveling a little bit too. I now. do a little traveling to check up on the people that we've taught uh, uh, within our region, uh, make sure that the programs are running properly. Well, how neat is that, that you've got a great culinary team, and uh, mm -hmm. so I'm guessing the food's got to be tremendous. We try. We try <laughs> every day, so we try to keep it fresh, uh, as sustainable as possible. Uh, you can see what our friends from Blue Friend do for us on a daily basis. I saw that. And we, uh, you share the secrets to uh, some of the things you do there already or mm -hmm. teach some of your other chefs? Yeah, every day we, uh, we're breaking down fish and meat and so forth and uh, try to keep it as fresh as possible. Great. Uh, so it has the vitamins and nutrition content. That's important. It is. So, all right, Chef, show me uh, what we're going to do next. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, season our salmon. Uh, I brought him in. We had broken down his brother earlier today. <laughs> but I <laughs> wanted to show you what uh, we get in every day. It's beautiful stuff coming in the there. Whole, you get the whole fish in. And it's we get the whole fish in. We take the bellies off. We make salmon rillettes and stuff like that for catered events and parties. Wow. Uh, little uh, different things with that. Uh, and then the main thing we do with it is break it down into salmon pieces. We usually have salmon on our menu most of the time. Uh, and then uh, we, do, we just switch it up for the seasons. Different uh, Getting ready different for summer, textures, so we'll be doing our mango uh, salsa. Oh, I like that. Mango has got to be great. So now we got a hot pan going. Hot. A little oil. I mean, that's just a good, great looking salmon. I mean, beautiful. Yep. Uh, the fish we get in, uh, bluefin, they, they get us some of the best looking stuff that I've seen in a long time. Uh, and it's so fresh. The UPS hub helps us out See, there that, with that. that. That's another great thing that uh, living in Louisville, we have that UPS hub. So this fish can be swimming yesterday anywhere around the world, and we get it in here yeah. today. Yeah. <laughs> and that, that's yeah. how you get it looking that good. So uh, for our mango salsa, I've already chopped up most of the mangoes and some of the peppers. We have a little bit of uh, uh, cilantro in here, a few green peppers. I'm going to add a, uh, another red pepper. This is a Fresno pepper. Uh, everybody calls it the red uh, jalapeno because it has the same shape, uh, just red. Now, do these have a little heat to them? Or are they they uh, do have a little bit of heat, but 
I find that the red, uh, the Fresnos, they tend to uh, have a little sweetness to them as well. So a little more flavor going on with mm -hmm. the Fresno uh, peppers, and then of course you're taking off the uh, seeds and the membrane, I, so that I don't, helps. I don't worry about removing all of it, but I do try to get most of the ribs out of it. Uh, that's where all the heat does tend to lie. Plus that's going to give this uh, salsa some nice looking uh, color to it too. A little red, you got the mango going with it. So, let's toss that in there. And the thing with the salmon, I teach all the young cooks that we get, do not touch it. Just let it go, get that uh, caramelization going on top of it. See, in home, it's so tempting. I just want to get in there and just start flipping it around. But you see how the edges are starting to get yeah. white here? So we should have a little color on here by now. We're going to roll it over. Oh, yeah. Nice little golden. Oh, my God. <laughs> see? See when you don't touch it? <laughs> it's so, magic. It does it by itself. I'm going to slide this in the oven let it finish up for a few minutes. What do we have the oven set to? 350? Yep, 350. Uh, and it only needs about eight minutes wow. in there, tops, and it'll be done. Uh, depending on how you like it, uh, I like mine a little more on the rarest side. Than I do others. too. Another thing that we have going with this dish, I've been reducing this, it's just balsamic vinegar. Uh, it started out about a quart and a half, and now I have it down to about a half cup. Oh. Uh, you can buy this if you don't want to take the time to do it. We do it in large quantities. They even sell them in the little squeeze bottles, so you don't have to put it in a squeeze bottle like I've already done. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, begin with my plating. Excellent. Uh, while the fish is finishing up. Uh, so I've got the glaze in the bottle, and I do a little Jackson Pollock action here. Very nice. Uh, I, in a second bottle, I have our wasabi cream. All I did was I took uh, wasabi powder, and I mix that with some uh, yogurt. Uh, we try to be stealth health. We try to get anything healthy. Instead of using mayonnaise, I try to put as much stealth health in as possible. So I mix that with a little um, yogurt, and then we thin it out with rice wine vinegar. Very uh, nice. So we're going to dot the plate. It, it is still got a pretty good kick to it. I was going to say that you can still taste the wasabi in there, a little Oh, it's, little it's definitely, yeah. <laughs> uh, the first time I put it on the menu, I didn't know if it would go over with it very well because it might be too much, but uh, everybody seemed to have loved it so far. What a great looking plate, by the way. This is, it's a cooking show and an art show, gang. We've got a new program. That's art with food. <laughs> so our fish is done. Wow, that looks absolutely fabulous. What I like about this too, you've got the textures with the mango, the Fresno. What else do you have in there, Chef? You mentioned uh, there's some, some yellow peppers, peppers uh, green peppers, and a little cilantro and lime juice. Wow, fantastic! This looks absolutely fabulous. There it is. Oh. Kitchen Theater right here at Sullivan University. Proud sponsors of Secrets of Louisville Chefs and Secrets of Louisville Chefs Live. We're glad you're watching. You've had a chance to uh, learn from Rob Henry some of the secrets to making this salmon dish so spectacular. The mango sauce, the wasabi cream. This is going to be fantastic. Of course, the Episcopal home here in Louisville, and uh, it, it's been around for quite some time. Now, Bradley Keller is here. You're a physician uh, and That's correct. cardiologist. Pediatric cardiologist at Coastal Children's Hospital. All right. You all have uh, provided, you know, we're about all local, all positive programming, and we That's say right. whenever we can help out charities in town, we like to do so. We did just that for Coaster Children's Hospital, and you were involved. That's right. I actually uh, bid on an event which allowed me to come here with uh, my son and my wife. Well, we're glad you're all here along with our whole studio audience. Thank you for being here, and thanks for supporting such a great cause, as you well know. Oh, well, Children's Hospital is outstanding, and we take care of the children uh, actually from Paducah to Ashland. So for all of the state of Kentucky, they come here to Louisville. For well, care. it's not only known across Kentucky, but across the globe, and uh, we appreciate the work you all Thank do. Thank you very much. You have a chance to take a taste first. Uh, you've got a little of the wasabi cream. Uh, doctor, if you would, take a taste. Let's see sure. how it is. It's uh, the wonderful salmon from Rob Henry at the Louisville Episcopal Church home. It's delicious. Yeah, delicious. That, wow. that, that sound good? 
Thank you. You bet. This is yours to keep. Oh, okay. We have we have some for the audience coming up shortly, and we have another dish which we're going to reveal the secrets to. We do absolutely. I'm excited about this, Chef. You're going to uh, show us a little dessert action here. I can see that it involves butter. Uh, butter. <laughs> this is a dish we we did for Mother's Day. Uh, lemon tarts. Now you're starting out with the fresh uh, lemon juice. What I have is about nine ounces of uh, fresh lemon juice. Okay. And I'm going to put a little sugar with it. You bet. Okay, more than a little. Now it's now it's lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> Almost hot lemonade. Oh, hot lemonade. So I'm going to bring this up to a boil. And while that's going, I'm going to do a little whisking on these eggs to. Now you just have the egg yolks in here. Is that these right? are just egg yolks. Okay. I've got about 16 egg yolks in there. 16. A few. This is more than one. This is going to be. It's going to be more than one portion, though, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I better go back to the salmon. <laughs> so, so what I'm doing? I'm uh, aerating the uh, eggs with a little bit of the sugar, trying to make it a pale yellow, yellow color, uh, lighten it up a little bit, and then when uh, that comes to a boil, we're going to temper that in uh, to the egg yolks so that they don't. Uh, become scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs, right. So, Excellent. That's a nice color too on those egg yolks. You can tell the freshness. Yeah. It's bright yellow like that. So we're going to temper this in. So again, you're just going to put a little at a time. Yes. Not right, just a little splashes in the beginning. By so the way, another chef's secret, uh, putting a little t a, a towel down. A towel down, down. yeah. A little towel keeps from, it from rolling uh, around. Flying all over the kitchen. <laughs> Which I've done. Yeah, I, I, I've spilled it. Uh, you know, I was over at the bakery a time or two. I've spilled stuff all over the place. Uh oh. And when you're working with those big vats of <laughs> stuff, <laughs> now that's a spill. That's it, like an it can really get industrial <laughs> spill over there in the bakery. It can really make a mess. So. <laughs> but plus, you have people that clean it up for you though, too, don't you? <laughs> well, at home I don't. So yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> so I'm going to bring it back to the heat. Very good. And it was just well tempered, just a little bit at a time while still whisking it. Right. And now we're just going to let it thicken on its own. And then when we get this up to what they call nappe, which just means to coat the back of the spoon, fancy French word, uh, <laughs> then we're going to uh, pull it off and I'll start whipping in the butter to it. And that's where it will actually take in a lot of the thickening and then we'll chill it down. So. This will take me a minute here. I'll tell you, lemon tart is just so good. It has mm -hmm. uh, just, you know, it's, uh, it's refreshing, you know, and the, mm -hmm. what a great ending to a wonderful meal. And it, it's really easy to make. I, I mean, I've got four ingredients here. Yeah, basically. we saw that. Look, you plus, can do this plus at home. The that, shelf, so. Do you know that's the premise of the show? You show us the secrets. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> secrets. <laughs> so. And you can do this at home. You saw this. Yeah, it's it's really simple to do at home. Don't so. worry about the nappe thing. That's getting a little nice. Yeah, that's now. a little fancy it's French stuff. To coat the back of the spoon. Or spatula. <laughs> and this time. So we're uh, starting to come together. Oh, yeah, you can see and you'll, you'll feel it up. in the bottom of the, you'll feel like you're actually plowing through something in the bottom there. And then it. There it is. And it does a run. You know what they call that? Nappe. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cooking show and a language show. We learn so much on this show. So. <laughs> So now I'm just going to slowly add my butter in in the beginning, and then I'll uh, add a lot of it there at the end. And this is what <laughs> in the beginning you have to do it, or it breaks really bad. Okay, so, so just a little bit at a time. A little at a time until you can't see it anymore, and then you, from there you can start adding uh, more and more to it. And you keep it cold or room temperature? The butter I, I usually keep it cold, okay. uh, but it doesn't Another have secret. to be like right out of the freezer cold. Uh, actually, in the beginning it works a little better at room temperature than. Uh, it does mean really, really cold. If you cool this down too fast, then it's hard to incorporate all the butter by the time you get to the end. Gotcha. Uh, this is a multitasking uh, thing here you've got going on. <laughs> yeah, I can't pat my head and do this, though. <laughs> <laughs> now, that would be another show. <laughs> all kinds of good shows coming out of this one, Chef. I... Chef, this looks great. Look at this. And when the butter's gone? When the butter's gone, we're going to strain it real quick just to make sure that if we did scramble any eggs, we get rid of those before uh, oh, mom eats those on Mother's Day. This is foolproof then. There's another secret revealed. Also, there might be a little chunk of butter I don't get totally knocked out. 
But that, again, that's the secret. I mean, you continually whisk this. Keep it going, keep it mm -hmm. moving. And you can see the heat being expelled off oh, of it. Oh, yeah. So it's cooling itself down at the same time. Uh, before you work with it, you generally want to cool it pretty good. Okay. So go ahead and run this through. Wow, that looks great. Chef, no scrambled eggs. You did a perfect job. Just a little tiny piece of butter left, so not too bad today. All right, so uh, what I normally do is I either pipe it in, or in this case, I can just pour it in uh, your shells. Wow. And if you're going to, you can make this two or three days in advance, but if you do so, you need to cover this, cool it down, stir it every once in a while, and then cover it with plastic wrap. Actually push it down on it like pudding gets a skin. This will get a skin as well. So make sure you uh, put the plastic right down on top of it and uh, keep it chilled. And then how long will this go in the refrigerator until it sets up? Right. And then I'll just put this in for about an hour. It should set on something this size. If you're doing a full pie, you may need uh, two or three hours. So we got an hour yet. What do you want to do next, <laughs> Chef? Maybe we better bring that. Oh, you've got the one. magic okay, of TV good. here. So. There it is. Look at and that. And so this one's already set. So what I did, I made a Chantilly cream. It's nothing but heavy cream, a little bit of sugar, and vanilla. Um, whipped it together. It's whipped cream. <laughs> <laughs> so, but if you call it Chantilly, we can get well, more money for it. Technically, if you sweeten it and flavor it, then it's called Chantilly cream. Whipped cream would just be whipping cream. <laughs> so. so we're going to pipe that on there like that. Beautiful. And then we got a little uh, white chocolate uh, that we. Uh, oh, look at that! Happy Mother's Day! Uh, beautiful. We use uh, some cocoa butter. And. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fabulous job, Chef. Wow. That looks incredible, Chef. Oh my gosh. Well, keep up the great work, and uh, happy to have you back here at Sullivan University, where you spent some time before. But uh, uh, I'll tell you what, thank you for sharing the secrets of this great lemon tort. This looks absolutely fabulous. All right, stay with us. I have a wonderful cocktail coming up next. It's something with ginger, ale eight, and Woodford Reserve. Welcome back to Secrets of Louisville Chefs Live. I'm Kevin Harding. You've been learning the secrets from Chef Rob Henry at the Louisville Episcopal Church Home. And what a fantastic recipe he shared, not only with the salmon, but now with the lemon tart. And Carol DeLost is here. Nice yes. to see you. Thanks for having yeah, me. Yeah, you have a chance to uh, just dive into this lemon tart yes, and see I'm, what you think. So I'm ready. you're quite the critic, though, I understand. I, I am. My sister's a pastry chef in Chicago, so I eat desserts probably more than I should. But no, but, I love it. There's no such too. thing. <laughs> Jump in and take a taste, right, Carol. Right, Let's I see what you Mmm. Yeah? It's not too tart. It's perfect. Perfect. Mm, you, the cream is really good. You know, one thing we appreciate about you is you sent out a tweet during our yes. show, at mm -hmm. Secrets TV. It's easy to do. Mm -hmm. And you said you're having a lot of fun. I did. It was a great morning. All right. Well, we're enjoying it here as well. The show is not over. You've got some secrets to share. I do. I'm going to share them right now. This is what I call the ginger wood. Uh, it's a really nice Creative cotton egg. Yeah, they're very good, yes. Not Hollywood, but ginger wood. Right. We like that anyway. <laughs> I uh, see the sign from it, here. It, it is, <laughs> right on the top. Anyway, real easy, great drink uh, any time of year. Basically, my shaker with ice, I'm going to put in about uh, two ounces of uh, Woodford Reserve. Actually, there's two of us. You're going to have a sip, right? Yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> There's Kevin's portion. And then to that, I have some ginger liqueur. You can buy this uh, ginger liqueur. Very nice. has a lot of ginger flavors to it. And ginger and bourbon really play nice together. So about uh, an ounce of that or so. That goes in. I'm going to give this a little shake. And you love that, don't you? My favorite sound. <laughs> That's it makes like me happy. Most, most people are on their cell phone yeah, or eating yeah, a Big Mac yeah. riding down the road. Not Tim. No, it's the shaker. Uh, I'm shaking. <laughs> shaking, 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 baby. My favorite sign. Anyway, I'm going to pour this in uh, over uh, rocks glass with ice, and then we're going to top it off with a little Ale 8, which is uh, a nice local product. And boom. So if you had to describe this drink to somebody, what would you say? Light, refreshing, ginger, nice hints of bourbon, and just delicious. Summertime, sit me under Summertime, a tree, give me a glass. Summertime, 
Finally, Leave me alone. A little uh, crystallized ginger, little uh, goes my garnish. All right, Kevin, here it is. Cheers. Let's see Cheers. how we did. Let's do that. Ah, oh. wow, wow. <laughs> I I just need a tree. I, <laughs> how's that? Good. Really good. How would you describe it? Very good. <laughs> Light, refreshing, yeah. little hints of ginger, bourbon, <laughs> and bourbon. Uh, it's delicious. A little bourbon for you can add a little bit more bourbon if you want, but I, it's just that nice. That's Easy, fantastic. Refreshing. We've had a wonderful show. Great audience too. I'm telling yeah, you that. Fantastic. We certainly appreciate you all being here. We appreciate you watching at home. If you're looking for the recipes from Rob Henry or any of our other chefs, they're easy to find. They're on our website, along with a complete restaurant guide that will help you out if you're looking for a place to eat around town. Check it out at newlocaltv.com. We'll see you next time. On behalf of all of our sponsors, for Tim Laird and all of us at BMB Productions, I'm Kevin Harnett. You're watching Secrets of Louisville Chefs. Secrets of Louisville Shots Live is recorded in front of a live studio audience.